Mike's Reviews and Tutorials. We're going to have a look at uh, what happens if you use a pressure cleaner on your cartridge filter. I've got a Haywood cartridge filter here, which has got a genuine Haywood cartridge in it, so it's a really, really uh, good quality one. But have a look at what happens if you hit one of these with a pressure cleaner. It is just simply too much pressure and you damage your cartridge um, quite badly. There's a furriness you can see. Um, particularly if you look on an angle here that's come onto this um, cartridge filter. Now this is still operating and still working, um, but if you make a habit of cleaning your cartridge filter with a pressure cleaner, um, you will absolutely destroy it. It's blown the bands off um, here, uh, which space out the pleats and keep it all together. But mainly the thing is that the furriness that has come into this, um, that. Uh, is a result of using a pressure cleaner. So if you've got a situation where, you know, the cartridge is about to be thrown out, absolutely um, use a pressure cleaner because it will really give it a good clean. Um, but my recommendation is actually a nappy sand product. I'll put a link um, in the comments. It's like something you would clean to bleach nappies is um, what I've been told is the best to use. You can also use hydrochloric or muriatic acid, mix 10 to one and soak it. Um, but the nappy sand supposedly is the one that does the best jobs for breaking up fats and getting fats and so forth out, particularly in a spa where you get a lot more um, uh, fats and so forth in your cartridge. So there you go, don't use a pressure cleaner. And here's the evidence. Um, who cares about the bands, that they're damaged, but you see it's the furriness. And you pick that up when I come in close, see how furry they've all gone? That shows that the surface is now damaged. Um, and so that's why you don't do it. This customer here, this cartridge was about to be replaced. It couldn't clean it. They put it in nappy sand. They put it in acid, done the whole lot. Um, and it wasn't coming good. So they've hit it with a pressure cleaner and it is actually now working again. So this is all a short term sort of thing, but they're gonna get a bit of extra life out of that. So good on them. In that case, use a pressure cleaner and get that last little bit out of the cartridge. But as a regular practice, not a good idea at all. It will very quickly uh, destroy your cartridge. So just a fast hose, um, a jet, got one right here, and put your garden hose on, you know, by all means go for the hardest jet setting that you can get. Um, but just wipe it down like that and just come in nice and close and concentrate what you're doing, working backwards and forwards and not being scared to come in on the side um, to blow the sides of the cartridge and clean it. Work on the top, down to the bottom. You'll always find there's a lot of mark down at the bottom. Um, but then just work your way around the cartridge, either spinning the cartridge and keep going, um, to just work your way around. So that's how you do it. Just with a fast hose most of the time, and then when it needs it, um, give it a soak in uh, some nappy sand. As I said, I'll put a link um, in the description where I can find you some of those products. Uh, it's not a pool product, the one I'm recommending. It's actually nappy sand, literally the oxidizer, non-chlorine oxidizer that you um, wash nappies and so forth in. So there you go, there's a weird tip from Mark's Reviews and Tutorials. Enjoy!